the course is like the baby on the block. So, you know, we need to take it easy with the baby. <laughs> we need to be gentle with ourselves and as we practice this. We need to be playful, you know, as we talked about earlier. And we need to have some fun with it because uh, you know, we need to be light. <laughs> we need to travel light and journey lightly, as Jesus says in the Course. And yet, we, we are not really bound by time, it's just the belief in linear time. It's just the investment that we have in the belief in the past and future. You know, the regrets of the past and the worries and concerns of the future. That's, that's what tries to distract us away from just being in present, just experiencing the holy instant. And I think, uh, you know, we're going to go a long way with this course. It's going to just carry us in this lifetime through miracle after miracle and save us thousands and thousands of years of unlearning, we could call it, that it would have taken us if we hadn't prayed and called on this, this help. So I feel such a gratitude <coughs> for the way shower Jesus and for all those that have, have said yes to accept their part in the plan of atonement. I think one of the lines that was very important to me from the Course is, is that he says, this Course will believe, be believed entirely or not at all. And so I like that uncompromising quality of this Course. This is not a Course in compromise. This is a Course in, in awakening. That we're here to do our part. We have a very specific part that's assigned to part of the plan of atonement. It's called our special function. And we need to keep our full attention on that part. Because if we start to wander off into other things, then it will distract us away from completing our part. That our part is given. In fact, the Course says in the workbook, the script is written. And that seems to imply a destiny. It really reminds me of lesson number seven, I see only the past. We're watching seemingly a linear script and it's, it's over and done. This world was over and done long ago. I have friends too, and including myself, we just, as we move along with the Course, we have a lot of these deja vu experiences, like when you're meeting people or seeing situations, <coughs> And you have that feeling like, I have seen this before. I have viewed this before. And I think there was one point where Ken Wapnick said, all of history is a deja vu experience. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's, that's amazing. Didn't you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a plan for the audience. I'm going to feel good. <laughs> Just like George and Gracie, you got to have <laughs> So, I think because I read that line, uh, this course will be believed entirely or not at all, you know, that helped me kind of throw all my willingness, all my focus, all my energy. And I think too, with the course, because it's like the baby on the block, I think it actually helps to have read the lives of the mystics and saints to kind of have an idea about Advaita Vedanta, some of these other ones, and, and many of the way showers, you know, from ancient, ancient India and the gurus and everything, I think that actually gives, gives a, an important context to non-duality. I think if you try to work with the Course and you don't have that context, you can lose sight of the mark. Uh, that this Course will be believed entirely or not at all. It's, it's quite easy. The ego is quite ingenious at making distractions to put off enlightenment and put off self-realization to another time, another lifetime, or whatever. And that's really not what this Course is about. This is really about giving it everything you've got. And so, for me, it was in the parable of David, I was very shy and quiet and 
Okay, we say Moses stuttered and he had to deliver the Ten Commandments. Gandhi was shy. You know, it's interesting when you look at some of these characters in the dream, they had to really let go of a lot to get themselves over to this. And we're really asked to let go of everything. The ego will tell you that's a sacrifice, but really we're not letting go of anything significant. It's more like we're just integrating, we're awakening to wholeness, we're not losing anything. There's no loss involved in this at all.